I'm Anatoly. Welcome to Mitsubishi Electric Sales Canada, How It Works series of videos. In this video, we'll be discussing the newest addition to our lineup, the hybrid PAA system. We'll be talking about the key features and installation procedures. Our hybrid heat pump system can use two sources for heating and one for cooling. The benefits of the hybrid system are the ability to switch between heating sources, improved home comfort, and improved efficiency for both heating and cooling. The PAA consists of cased A-coil, condensate safety switch, the indoor controller box, non-adjustable thermostat, and the sensor. The PAA is compatible with M&P series outdoor units. Please reference the product manual for unit compatibility. The hybrid system will switch between heat source for heat pump to gas furnace under these three conditions. When the outdoor temperature is below the selectable switch over point, this is referred to as the economic balance point. When the air source heat pump can no longer maintain the heating demand in the building, this is referred to as the capacity balance point and during system error conditions. The case coil is available in three different sizes and in the following capacities. 18, 24, 30, 36 and 42,000 BTUs. This allows for easy compatibility to a third party furnace. The case coil is available in the following sizes. 14.5, 17.5, and 21 inches wide. For specific unit capacity and sizes, visit mitsubishitechinfo.ca. The hybrid system is suitable for the following applications. Homes that utilize gas and electric heat, homeowners looking for an efficient air conditioner, and applications with limited outdoor space. Mitsubishi electric heat pumps using inverter technology are among the most energy efficient systems on the market and also exceptionally quiet. The installation procedures are relatively the same to a traditional air conditioner system. The differences are additional wiring, system configuration, and the installation of both refrigerant pipes. So now that you have determined the correct size and capacity for the application, we're ready to install the system. A few things to know during installations are removal of the vertical drain pan for upflow installations, mounting and wiring of control box, interlocking of condensate safety switch, installation of NAT and TH1 thermistor in the return air duct using the included mounting bracket. The control panel must be placed inside the home within close proximity to the case coil. Power is supplied to outdoor terminals L1 and L2, while terminals S1, S2 and S3 are connected between the outdoor unit and control box. Thermostat wiring connections are made between the furnace and control box. The available thermostat option for controlling the system are 1. Mitsubishi Electric MA controller, two MHK series thermostats. The following steps must be performed to complete the installation. First, set up economic balance points using mode settings on the thermostat. Second, test run of emergency backup heat. This is done by setting SW01-4 to on, then press W1 or W2 to initiate heat mode via the furnace. Once confirmed, power down the system and turn SW01-4 to off. For technical information on Mitsubishi Electric products, please visit www.mitsubishitechinfo.ca and for training content, visit www.maskacademy.ca. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.